Hello everyone, this is the official video tutorial of problem B not sitting taken from today's code forces round. Before we begin, it's worth noting that C and D are somewhat similar difficulty level, especially C which would be considered easier if you knew about trees and D would also be easier if you're good in number theory and B is a bit more um, algebraic and greedy uh, which may not be very intuitive. So I'll try my best to explain the intuition behind the math in the second problem. So in order to understand the solution, you only need to know basics of grids and some greedy ideas. And um, you need to basically uh, understand the intuition. So I'll be explaining that now. So in this problem, we are basically given an n by m grid where r comma c represents the seat in the r row and the seat column. And the distance between two seats is the Manhattan distance, which is given by the absolute value of the difference of the rows plus the absolute value of the difference of the columns. And Tina is the class president. So she chooses exactly K buckets of pink paint and she paints K seats with those K buckets. And um, obviously, each bucket will go to one seat, exactly one seat. So there are exactly K seats which are painted, exactly K seats, that's important. And after painting those K seats, Rahul chooses to sit at a place which is not pink. And then Tina chooses to sit at a place, um, at any place, it can be pink or not pink. So the pink color basically ensures that Rahul should not sit over there. And the reason um, why they do this is so that Tina wants to maximize her distance from Rahul while Rahul wants to uh, minimize the distance to Tina and the distance is this Manhattan distance. So um, we need to basically consider for all k going from 0 to n into m minus 1, what is the minimum distance between Rahul and Tina if Tina first will choose the k seats to paint pink then rahul will choose an optimal place to sit and then tina will choose a farthest place from rahul to sit and we need to find the distance basically if uh, these three operations the, if these three steps are performed so let's consider an example let's say that k is zero so that's the simplest case to understand and uh, this will help build the intuition for the solution so if k is 0, then um, the key idea is that, uh, this is the first key observation, which is when k is 0, Rahul will want to minimize the distance to Tina. And if you think about it logically, if you're trying to minimize the distance to, uh, to, a, to all the points in the grid, you will want to choose the middle of the grid somewhere in the middle. So let's say we have these four columns and the three rows. Then when k is zero, you will choose the middle square, one of these two middle squares. Either you will choose the second row and the second column, or you will choose the third row and the second column. So one of these two squares to be positioned. Whereas Tina will choose the other, uh, the other corner, the farther corner, because Tina wants to maximize the distance from Rahul. So let's say, for example, Rahul uh, chooses two comma two, in that case, the farthest corner, the farthest point in the whole grid will be the square 4 comma 3 or it can also be the square 1 comma 3. So these two corners are the farthest and the Manhattan distance in that case is 3. You can verify 3 is the distance and similarly when Rahul sits at 3 comma 2, the Manhattan distance will be 3 in, in both the corners which are farther away from Rahul. So this is the first crucial observation which you should make. Rahul will always try to position himself in the middle of the grid and Tina will always try to position herself in a corner of the grid and this is true because Rahul wants to minimize the distance to every other square because we, he doesn't know where Tina sits and similarly Tina wants to maximize the distance because corner squares will always maximize the distance from the center and this is the first observation which you should spend a few minutes understanding 
now how do we exactly process the key op process these operations that's actually the trickiest part uh, of this problem how do we paint the squares because uh, we understood when k is 0 uh, we will always choose the middle square and then one of the four corners that's easy but how do we exactly paint the squares and that's what we'll try to understand so the key observation for a general value of k is a bit tricky so you need to spend a little bit of time to understand this fully when k is 0 let's first try to find the answer when k is 0 in a closed form expression the answer will be you need to consider each square in the grid so let's say that this is the 4 by 3 grid let's consider each square now we know that for each square what is the distance to the four corners and the key idea is that only the maximum distance matters because if rahul decides to sit on that square then tina will choose the farthest corner away from that square that's the key observation that's one part of the key observation so when k is 0 we know that we we will go over all the cells in the grid and for each cell we will find out which is the corner which is the farthest away from that cell and we will take the minimum of all those distances so we are essentially doing two steps the first step is iterating over all these squares in the grid for each of those squares find the distance to the four corners so let's see we are at this square find the distance to the four corners the maximum distance which is 3 in this case will be your um, will be your candidate distance and the minimum value across all the squares is going to be your answer and um, if you consider another example where you where the square is 1, 1 then the maximum distance is 2 plus 3 which is 5 and um that's why 5 is not the minimum value the minimum value is 3 so you're going to print 3 so that's what the observation is the place where rahul sits the answer essentially is the cell is the distance corresponding to the cell it's the minimum distance of the maximum distance to the four corners the minimum value of the maximum distance to the four corners is is what is going to be printed as the output and basically you do the process which i explained run it in your head a few times you go over all the grid squares for each grid square you compute the maximum distance to the four corners because that's where tina will go and the min and the minimum value across all squares is where rahul will sit and that will be your output so in the first example when k is 0 to 3 and i spent a lot of time on this is and the reason why i spent a lot of time on this first example when k is 0 is because for larger values of k we do essentially the exact same thing and the key idea is that tina will paint that cell pink so we know that we have found a cell where rahul will sit now tina will paint that exact same cell where rahul is sitting so that it can be blocked essentially she is again trying to block the middle squares and she will block the square which has the minimum value of the maximum distance to the four corners that's exactly what she will do then what happens so we know that tina will block that square where rahul sits then what happens then we repeat the process with all the remaining squares so consider all the remaining squares for each of the remaining squares we have already stored what is the maximum distance to the four corners because that's what we did when we passed over all the cells then what do we do then we know that the minimum distance again we take the minimum distance of that uh, maximum distance to get the place where rahul sits so again the cell with the minimum value of the maximum distance to the four corners is the answer that's where rahul sits and you could consider when k is 1 um so tina will paint this square pink let's say for example then 
um, then the remaining cells exist so for the remaining cells um, the distance is basically again 3 so you will print 3 and um, for when k is 2 Tina will paint these two middle squares pink so for all the remaining cells the minimum value of the maximum distance to the four corners is 4 because you, you could check all the squares and you will see that the maximum distance for all the squares to the four corners like for each cell if you compute the maximum distance to the four corners and take the minimum value across all the cells you will get 4 and that's why 4 will be the output for a number of squares and then 5 will be the output for a number of squares and I encourage you to pause the video and uh, run, run this a few times write down the values and you will see that just printing this um, value in the sorted order will, will work just each time taking the cell with the minimum value of the maximum distance to the four corners um, each time will work and now I'll show you the same code so in the code for each test case I take in the value of n and m and I keep a global array which shows the maximum distance for all the cells to the four corners and we know that repeatedly taking the minimum element from this all max dist vector will give us the minimum value of the maximum distance which is where Rahul will sit and which will be the output. So for each i going from 0 to n and for each j going from 0 to n, consider the cell i comma j and compute the distances to the four corners. So this is corner 1, this is corner 2, the distances, the Manhattan distances to each of the corners is considered and uh, we basically compute these four distances and we add to this all vector the all max distance vector we will add the maximum of these four distances because we know that the maximum of these four distances uh, that corner is where Tina will sit that's why we store this and since we know Tina will sit at this max distance position uh, we add it to the vector and since we know that Rahul will always choose the minimum or uh, minimizing the maximum distance that's why we just need to sort this all dist vector and we need to repeatedly print the minimum value so far so by sorting it um, we know that initially when k is 0 so k is 0 this means that all dist of 0 all max dist of 0 is the output because that's where Rahul will sit then um, when k is 1 or uh, this means that this grid square is going to be painted pink by Tina and hence all max dist of 1 will be um, printed because Tina will remove the 0th one and in general when k becomes equal to i so if you uh, repeat this for any general k going up till i uh, we know that Tina will remove all the pink squares so far all the i pink squares uh, corresponding to these values and she will just print she i mean rahul will just sit at this grid square and tina will go to the maximum corner from this grid square and that's why all max dist of i will give the uh, minimum value of the ith maximum distance i mean the ith minimum value of the maximum distance to the four corners and that will be the output and you can verify that this code gets accepted i hope you like this problem and my solution if you had any doubts do leave them in the comments down below and if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up thank you